Hello everybody and welcome back to the Modded Character Showcase. We are jumping in again and this time we're going as... I think we did Adam in uh, Insane Mode, so this time we'll do Abel in Insane Mode. Uh, also, I want to take some suggestions for the next characters to be added to um, the series, because I think these characters are, are pretty much about wrapped up. Oh, there's actually an Insane Mode mark, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I think these characters are, are getting to be pretty much wrapped up, so... I'd like to get some feedback on what you guys would want to see out of uh, the next few characters to be added to the series. It can be characters we've showcased before, it can be completely new ones. Uh, I'll just be down for seeing what you guys want to see. Um, I think it could be quite interesting to try out some new ones or, like I said, return to some old classics. But we've got good old, um, good old Farty McGee over here with uh, our kidney bean and stuff. I quite like this guy. On insane mode, um, I reckon it's still going to be quite tricky to utilize his abilities to the fullest of their effects. But we'll try our best. Um, obviously, as we've seen this guy before, basically, when we use our space bar or get hit, we do a little um, charming fart. When we charm enemies and kill them, we gain damage that slowly fades over time. Um, also, we just did a random fart there. I don't know what that was about. Oh, do we have like a... Oh... We have like a, a charge up for a... That's kind of cool. We have like a charge up for a fart over time. That's that's definitely new. That's definitely new. Um, So we're able to use our space bar when we want, but also do a, a few extra farts. This is a good way of doing this. I like this a lot. There you go. Look, we can go up and do a little fart there. What would what would be really nice is to get Giganta Bean so we get that extra fart cloud size. Okay, th these guys are getting a little annoying, a little tedious. Oh my god. Okay, do not, do not lose my eternal heart, please. Dude, can this, can this game chill for a minute? Like, these big spiders are not it at all. Oh, this is, this is some mega bullshit right now. Yeah, do not throw out another one of those. I know that you're tempted. You fucker. You big fucker. Okay, lovely. I, I, I just need to focus on killing him now. It's not worth uh, doing anything else, because this guy's been a bitch. Oh god, I'm going to get hit, aren't I? I, I know I'm going to get hit. Get out of here, you. I don't want to lose my eternal heart. I'm playing so try-hardy to get this done. Oh my god, okay, we did it. Oh, and, okay, I got a lag spike there. I thought my game had crashed. Okay, where are we actually going here? Let's go for a mother run, I guess. Uh, actually, no, we need to do, we need to do mum's heart in insane mode, don't we? Okay, we're not going to do mother, because that would be uh, probably a bad idea. But, the eternal heart gets the proc. That's rather nice. We are through. We also have this other heart here, too. we got these going on. Lovely. Yeah, I'm liking this idea of being able to do these extra... These extra lovey dovey farts, that's that's a really good way of being able to interject a little bit more charm into these runs. Because it's it's the lifeblood of this character. And in his original um original way of working, it was actually pretty difficult to keep the damage up unless you had a specific charm item that allowed you to get extra. Otherwise it was kind of like, nah. You had to just deal with it. But it's quite nice to be able to charm things more often because not only can we get these extra damage stats, but we've got extra help on the battlefield. We've got extra things doing damage for us. Especially in insane mode, I'm, I'm feeling like that's going to be pretty goddamn necessary. Like that, looking. It allows us to do, like, two sections of killing enemies like that. Oh, come on now. Get out of here. Get out of skadoodle. But yeah, as you can see, it's allowing us to keep up our, uh, our damage nicely. Keep that away from me, please. Good. We can see if we've got an item room. Obviously, on insane mode, we're not always going to have an item room, so we can't always bank on that. But we'll at least go and check. We'll at least go and check. By the way, I do apologize if I sound a bit off today. This is a very, very sleepy morning for me. Um, I woke up a bit late and I uh, didn't really get much sleep last night, so I'm a bit tired. But Isaac is always a good way to wake up the brain. I've found. Okay, this is a bit of a horrible room. All the enemies are separated. Yeah, black ball. Go back to your master. It's not looking good for item room yet. It's not looking good yet. Let's hope for the best, but I'm having a feeling that we're going to find another cash room up here. 
Now, item room in the same mode can be replaced by care rooms. I'm having the feeling that's what's going to happen. Oh, that was beautiful. They all decided to fire at that one enemy as well. That was pretty funny. Good, good. The radius on the fart seems pretty good, actually. I don't even know if I need chicken speed. I mean, I'll take it, but... The radius seems to be hitting everything. Yeah, unfortunately, we got double cash room. Which, I'll be honest, on insane mode is an absolute... An absolute slap in the face. Because it's you're taking double damage. No one's going to ever go into a cash room. It's evil. <laughs> I don't know what the chances are to have your item room replaced. But I really think it should be able to be replaced with things other than the cash room. Because... No one in their right mind is ever going to use a care room on insane mode unless you have a lot of HP on the floor and no soul hearts, which unlikely. Unlikely. Ah, I did that time that a bit wrong there. Okay, bugger off you. This guy's not too bad. I know that charming him doesn't really do much in this scenario, but it's useful, I guess. Cool, we got whatever this is. Mystery meat. Um, randomly gives two two stats up and gives the HP up. Okay, that's kind of nice. And we gain damage and luck. Okay. Right, let's keep it going. Unfortunately, like I said, no item room for us. We shall hope that that's not going to be the case forever. Petrified poop in here. I will take us the petrified poop. Yeah, I'm gonna say not getting item rooms. I I think it. I think as part of insane mode, it's kind of okay. Like I, I I'll be honest, I'm not a particularly big fan of it because it just reduces the um how interesting a run can be because obviously variety is the spice of life and that comes from items so it does reduce the um, amount of variety you're going to get on a run which is always not great um but i i kind of get it it is a it is a good way of like making the runs harder i guess but i, I don't know i just i just wish they went just replaced my cash rooms because that's just it's just horrible no one's gonna use those and you goddamn well know it <laughs> Beautiful. I'm really liking this um, this thingy ghost we got going on here. What are you doing? I mean, the ghost is just doing so much damage. It's awesome. Right, please say we get an item room this far. If we get two no rooms back to back, that would be truly devastating. But we, we will see. Yeah, I'm really liking this charge up fart thing. This is it's real nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Insta killing everything inside it as well. There's a bomb. The ghosts are just doing so much damage. I mean, honestly, this like having these ghosts is like having another item right now. Don't know what these guys do. They look new. I, don't, I think they're just a resprite of the uh, original flies. Again, it's not looking too hot for item room here. Not particularly enthused, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. Also, a bunch of chests that I can't open is uh, just fan dabby dozy. Thank you. Okay, really not a fan of these little water droplet fellas. They can be quite the nuisance. God damn. You gotta okay, lovely. You gotta you gotta just give it up for Abel's haircut, don't you? Abel's haircut's just something else. <laughs> okay, these guys can go kill each other, please. Hey! Free entry to here. And we get ourselves the um the piano, which is pretty good. We also get ourselves a dice shard, which I'm sure will come in good hand good use at some point. Algiers is not really doing anything for us, obviously, but it does give us a holy mantle charge, which is kind of nice. Oh, you big old bastard. I hate these droplet enemies. We lost our holy mantle already. At least it's safe, does a hit. Right, anyways. Let's make our way back towards our boss. Our character is looking just the goofiest ever. The haircut plus the piano teeth is, uh... 
is quite quite the strong combo. Get ready, you two. This is kind of a horrible room, actually, for the um, the size of the room and what this guy does. I'm probably going to get hit here. Actually, maybe not. But why, where's my Doom shot sack? Okay, good. We got him. Not a bad item either. Good, good. Bonus damage in every other room seems good to me. We're building up that angel chance. We've, we've, we've done a pretty good job of not getting hit thus far, so I'm hoping we can keep that up, but I'm not keeping my hopes up too high. I'm not keeping my hopes up too high, because I know that I'll, uh, I'll disappoint myself. God damn it. Why don't you go for your master? He was charmed. Yeah, unfortunately, the Doom Shots didn't do a whole a whole lot for us in that last uh, boss fight, which is a bit of a shame. Thought that was secret room. Unfortunately, it is one of these secret rooms that requires us to kill things. Dude, I keep forgetting that every single chest is trapped. There's there's some changes in in this insane mode that I feel like are a bit. I don't know. Like. I hate to say it, because I think the, the, the developers of this mod are, are amazing and they've done a lot of good stuff. But I feel like there's some of the changes in Insane Mode that are a little lazy. Like, that is not a good way of making the game harder, in my opinion. Let's just make all room drops not takeable. Let's just make item rooms not usable. Like, mm, I pre I'd prefer to see it to be actually something that's a bit more challenging, like more champions or something like that. Or, I don't know. Ra rather than it just being like, a uh, all of your room rewards that are chests are now just not openable because who on who in their right mind would open these? <laughs> like like I said, unless you have zero soul hearts and a ton of spare HP, there's just never going to be a time where opening them is worth anything. So you're just always going to be leaving a ton of chests behind, which I think is just mm, sad. <laughs> right, hopefully there's that item room back this way, we'll see. Oh, this is one of the repeating rooms, I think. It's like purple. If I come back through this room, I think I'm going to have to redo it. And this one. Oh, that was a really bad hit. But apparently my hearts, my good hearts did survive, which is strange. Hey, you killed the guy healing you, you fools. Beautiful. Oh, time itself. Not bad, not bad. Could have quickly check in here for hopefully some HP. You bastard. Right, anyways. Back we go to the boss. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Forgot about that. But also, why did I take two full hearts of damage from that guy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't rightly know. Yeah, that was that was kind of horrible. I kind of forgot that that was a, a, a thing, even though I just mentioned it. Right, give me my minions. Oh, for God's sake, man! <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Yeah, like I, I think I think insane mode is is it's it's interesting, but like it's not something that I'd ever play long term. It seems like more of a gimmick. I think it could definitely do with some work to, to improve improve a few things. Uh, joyful is uh, rather intriguing. Probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea at all. Makes us look awful as well with the haircut and everything. I don't particularly like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, boys. Okay. This is not good. Insane mode, you are quite tough. We are trying our best, but we are not succeeding. I love our, having all the mini Isaacs. Give the mini Isaacs more health, please. <laughs> Make them last longer. Yeah, I, I don't, I, honestly, I don't really have, like, great suggestions for insane mode. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it would, I think it would definitely benefit from some tweaks. I'd like, I'd like it to be 
a, a mode in which I could like genuinely put it on as a way to make the game a bit harder permanently and do streaks with it. But in its current state, I just, I don't want less items. That's just not as fun. And I don't want all of my room rewards to be untakeable because that's just not as fun. Like, I know it's basic, but having more champion enemies and more curses is a simple enough way to make the, make the game more difficult. I don't know if the game already does that. Also, we're going to die again here, because this is a... Uh, this might be a short episode, people. This might be a short episode, because I'm, uh, I'm really eating dirt right now. Really eating the dirt right now. It's not It's not ideal. It's not ideal. I, did it, I, I went so long without getting hit on that last run as well. I can't believe I died just walking into a random enemy as well. I just forgot the room was going to reset. Even though it was obvious, dude. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I told you I was tired, people. I told you I was tired. But yes, I would I would very much like to see what people want to see from this series in terms of new characters and stuff, because there's, there's so many to go at. So, in theory, if we use this, it will also fart. Okay, it didn't. But they've, uh, they've added that other fart, so... I guess I could use that, but... Honestly, not a book I'd want to use anyway, so it's fine. Nah, that's the way to get a lot of damage. That was pretty beautiful. Tears gain a small... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I haven't had that in a long time. Seems pretty goddamn useful. Imagine this with piercing. That'd be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice. So far, I quite like this. I mean, a te technology item is always fun, but this is even better. Kill the charmed ones. Good, good, good. I don't know if this guy has an any longer charm duration either. I've not really looked into that. I did get that second hand on one run, and I think that did increase the duration. Beautiful. Okay, this is a good run here. We've got a very, very strong item here, which I'm kind of surprised isn't um, isn't quality 4. It's quality 3, but still, it seems quality 4 right now to me. Hey, we've got an item room on the second floor as well. Lovely. Um, on use transforms some enemies into their weaker versions, and it just says, bruh. Like, we can use that. Oh! Okay. Um... Bombs, hearts, keys, and batteries have a small chance of turning into collectible tumors. Tumors. Collecting tumors powers a tumor orbital, which blocks shots and deals damage. With contact with enough tumors, the second one will spawn. Interesting. So yeah, we can still we can still charm enemies, it's just not gonna be as readily available now. But I like this way of doing things. It means we can actually use different axes. This is another one of the repeating rooms. I've got to try and remember that. Get out of here, you. Enemies are the bane of my existence. Oh, I fucking walked into that fire. I tried so hard to avoid that fire. Still walk right into it. Shuma, thank you. This is really nice being able to weaken the enemies here. Okay, that didn't really that didn't really work so well. Another chest I can't open. Another repeating room here. We've got to really pay attention to these because that's going to screw us over really hard. I like the idea of the repeating rooms. That's a fun way to add difficulty. I think that's a really good way. And the extra damage is also a fine way of adding difficulty as well. Them ones are absolutely fine. Okay. For so the next room. There's some rooms we don't actually need to use our uh, active on. Like, that room was easy enough. I think it's only rooms that look a bit tough like this. We want to really go for it on. There you go. You take yourself out. <laughs> this is pretty nice, having him just take himself out like that. PJs is incredible here, thank you. Okay, down we go. This is this is a good this is a good one. This we've got some stuff going on here that I quite like. We just gotta keep firing to keep our uh, fire sort of ready and charged. 
rare integer. It's a little tricky to um, use the fire in a room like this. But we can get some kills on occasion. What are you doing over here, guy? You're kind of chilling. It'd be nice to get some fire rate to make this even more potent. And like I said, piercing would be just god tier for us here. I don't know why I decided to weaken all those enemies. That wasn't really that worthwhile, was it? Get a few dippies. Thank you. I say, when there's a single enemy in the room, you might as well at least charm that one enemy. Get some extra damage out of it. We're just not going to keep our damage very high here, I don't think, unfortunately. We'll do what we can, but it's not going to be the easiest here. There we go. Actives ready once again. This makes this room a hell of a lot easier, not having the triple shot ones, thank you. Looks like Angel Deal is in the bag here for us as well, uh, with the amount of soul hearts we have. I'd say that we're pretty likely. Also, item rooms just keep coming. Daddy Long Legs is certainly no joke. Very much like having Daddy Long Legs on board. Okay, careful of the creep. Good, good. Yeah, a little tricky. If we can get another item that, that helps us charm, that'd be lovely. This is actually a good room for this, to be honest. Oh, one second. My ear's like really, really itchy right now. One second. My goodness. I apologize. Oh, I think I slept funny on it or something. Oh, that's better. Apologies. Yeah, some of these downgrades are super, super valuable. That's a downgrade, uh, an enemy with herming shot into one that can't goddamn shoot. Pretty strong in my book. I'm going to just quickly check for a soul heart. There's a half soul heart there. I'll at least buy that. It's, it's enough. It's enough. Okay, lovely. And then we've got fly guy here. I'm going to say we definitely need a damage up because our damage, like, as of base is real bad. Hopefully this will uh, give us what we need. We'll see. Unfortunately, this is the version that spews out way more creep and um, his eyes fire at you too. Kind of a tricky version of him to be fair, but luckily I think he has less health. At least it seems that way. Good, good, good. Down we go. Hopefully Angel Deal on the next floor could be quite nice here. And a library. I like a library. Um and we've got this now. Lovely. That's just teleporting us to a library. I don't know if this is that valuable to hold, to be honest. I think our other active might be better. But, um... I don't know, this this Delirium book is so strong that it could be really valuable to us. Get out of here, you. Ooh. Tapeworm, nice trinket for some extra range. Lovely. Also, we now have Bookworm, apparently, straight away, which is odd. But thank you. Did we? Oh, we used Anarchist Cookbook, didn't we? Of course. We used that a while ago. I forgot about that. We've got Item Room again here. This is what I mean by the replacing Item Rooms thing is kind of silly. Oh, this could be good with, uh, with our thingy. Uh, replacing Item Room thing is kind of silly because on some runs you just get lucky and you don't have any Item Rooms replaced. On other runs you get really unlucky and that's not what... Like, randomness shouldn't be difficulty, I don't think. Basically, my thinking with this is that the electricity will do really good damage. And it's looking like it is as well. Looking like it is. Okay. Take care of this little fella here. Oh, he's charmed. Okay. Yeah, little mushroom boy. Get out of here. But yeah, I'm liking Almond Milk on this. This is a, a pretty intriguing run. Not many of these tumor fellas, though. These tumor fellas seem to elude us. And I still need my additional charm items to make this guy really pop. But yeah, our damage is uh, very abysmal right now. As abysmal as it gets. Oh, that was a very bad hit. 
Come on, Daddy Long Legs, do some work for us. Okay, we got that. Boss, we're out there. I want to see how quickly we kill a boss. That's that's a good way to sort of gauge how good this is. If we can kill a boss quickly, I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy. But yeah, this this thing that we got, this book that gives us extra transfer libraries, could be pretty good with a delirium book if it works. Hey, there's another tumor. Thank you. That was a really bad hit. Literally just watch that come towards me. That didn't charm you, why? Hey, the um the tumor's leaving little slowing patches, which is kind of nice. This is good damage. It's not amazing, but it's good. Welling leech is nice. This could be be beautiful. Um Spawn Eve as a second character is very strange. Um Yeah, I guess. Do I like that? I don't. I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> there is no library on this floor. Damn. Yeah, that wasn't wasn't the best of uh, angel deals. There was hoping for a, a hell of a lot better than that. What it is, what it is. We shall keep going. This is still pretty powerful, though. I'm still liking the setup. And yet again, another item room. And we get telekinesis, which I guess I'll just give to you. Which I, I can't, okay, I can't give it to you. That's a bit unfortunate to get a active item here. Bit of a shame indeed. Right. Come on, Eve. Let's go. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not honestly. I'm not really planning on keeping Eve alive for a long time. She's just. She's there. If she stays alive, she stays alive. If she doesn't, she doesn't. She's just along for the ride at this point. Oh, this is some peak room design here. Yeah, luckily the ghosts do move around, making them a bit easier to kill. Ooh, ferryman. We don't have the money for it, though. Come on, Eve. We on our way. We on our way, you little fella. Show me to the boss room, please, Eve. Charming parts. Good, good. Ooh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh, there. Goddamn. That was risky. Okay, I think we're going the right way by the looks of things. Yeah, unfortunately, we're, we're very much out of the ability to, like, charm enemies correctly. The active does make it a lot easier. You don't want to swap it, but you can sort of thing now. Which I, I think is a good way of balancing it, to be fair. Sticking with your character's active is a major positive on this guy. But it, it allows you to switch off without completely negating his entire gimmick. I didn't like the way before that changing your active basically just reduced him to a regular character with no gimmick. Of course we get Reap Creep. Why wouldn't we? Not not particularly long kill here. It's not too bad. It's not ideal though. Tries to use Eve as a human shield, to be honest. So I apologize about that, Eve. That didn't charm any of those spiders for some reason. I think they weren't actually entities yet. I think that's why. Ooh, I wasn't at all prepared for that. We get a devil deal. Why? Mr. Dolly is good though. But why the devil deal though? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Wait, what, what was the last one I took? Did Eve take that last item? Are you shitting me? Eve? Did you just take an item from me? I don't know what she took there. I'm unsure. But I don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate the theft that I've had to deal with here. 
Okay, let's be careful here. I'm not going to be using our charm as much anymore because I've got these pyro things that I want to be firing off because they do good damage. And that means I can't hold down fire to charge up my charm shots. Oh, look, another item room. Unfortunately, not a great item. Right, we are almost there. We are almost there. Also, we should, we should pop this and check if we got a library. No, we do not. Damn it, we never have a library. 20% increased library chance, my ass. Don't know if we're going to make it based on uh, what the what the wound can be like, but we'll see. Ah, I didn't have a fart charged up there. I thought I did. It's kind of getting hard to see what's going on, to be honest, with all this craziness. There's a lot going on on screen right now. Come on, my little leeches. Do my bidding. Oh my god. This pyromancy with the, the fireballs is actually pretty goddamn good. You get a ton of fireballs. Like an absolute ton. This way, maybe? I didn't actually see if we could go this way. There's a full card there. This is looking right. Yeah, and they, 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 they do set damage. They're not affected by a soy milk low damage that we've got right now. Well, there's three of them back already. And then there's another one. There's another one. Another one. You just, like, literally constantly fire them. It's kind of wacky. Come on, boss. Be, please be this way. Yeah, this is really nice. There's a lot of extra damage to uh, to put out. I should take this item more often. I always kind of underrated it. You fired some sort of knife there. That's clearly something that's going on. She's, yeah, she's firing like these little blades on occasion. Clearly something to do with the item that she got, but... Don't know what item that is, because we never got to see it. Good. This has got to be the right way, right? Gotta be the right way. Oh god. There's a lot going on in this room. Thank you for the death there. That was too much. Okay, boss, hello. Two more floors to go after this. We can do this. We can make this work. I'm hoping. Yeah, insane mode's insane mode's pretty fun to just like give a go one off. But I would like it to be a mode that you can play more consistently. Yeah, it's just crazy that this run, we, we had every single item room show up. So, like, you're at the whim of luck. And I realize that, obviously, luck is a big part of Isaac already in the fact that, like, I forgot I had the Bible. <laughs> I was killing this woman. And I was like, wait a minute. That's the Bible right there, isn't it? Um, I'll take this for the damage. We got technology, which I don't know how that would work. Yeah, the, the base book you get, I think, is random, so we got the Bible as our base book in the Delirium book thing. Right, this is where shit's gonna go down. Also, Eve will die in a single hit down here, so... Basically, say goodbye to Eve, because she is, uh... She is going to perish. That is a fact. I will try my best, Eve. Oh, God, I just took a hit there as well. Oh, um... Eve did not, in fact, perish. I do see one of these bad boys, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't realize. I thought those spikes had gone down after the combat finished permanently. That was obviously not the case. Akuldama, not exactly my favorite item, but there you go. Right, we can do this. We can do it if this guy will stop doing his little song and dance. Ooh, that's very nice, actually. Okay, yeah, not particularly enthused, but we'll try our best. Yeah, I I'm never a fan of, like, the Keeper's thingy and then this Eve one that adds an extra character. Playing as two characters is hard enough as it is on Jacob and Ezo. <laughs> Don't make me do it again. I'm hoping we can find boss pretty swift here, but I'm not I'm not hopeful. The killing is, is quick. 
Got a card here. Plus one eternal heart, holy mantle. Ooh. Very nice. That's that's a lot of extra survivability right there. A lot of extra survivability indeed. Wait, what the fuck? How come you healed up there? Right, unfortunately, all the wrong way that way. To be expected, to be honest, it is the womb after all. I was hoping it'd maybe be womb XL, but in, fa in fact, we've just got more champion enemies, which could cause problems. Okay, don't be spawning champion babies. No, thank you. You took my holy mantle away. How dare thee. But these guys are the roly-poly ones, aren't they? Gotta be really careful. Some of the enemies, like, from Fiend Folio, I, as I've said from the normal series, I still don't know very well, and on Insane Mode, that could... That could be very difficult, because I could end up running into an enemy and just eating shit to it, because I don't expect it. Especially ones that, like, normally I kill instantly, so I've seen a few times, but I don't really get a chance to actually fight correctly. These enemies are, are really rough. They just have this little spinny move that blocks all shots. It's annoying. Right, come on. All we've got to do is survive for one more floor. That was very close. This boss and one more floor. God damn it, no. Get away here with your goddamn poison seeds. Yeah, why is every all the creep gray now? I want to know what did that. Another one of these. Does get us up to full health, at least. Oh god, this guy could be rough. Yeah, spawning minions is not, uh, not conducive to our success. I don't even know what just, what just happened there. He spawned a bunch of bounty tiers, I don't like that. I, I just really don't know how this guy works. I know that he rolls eventually, but I'm not sure when. Oh, he's doing some fire. He is creating a lot of fire in the room. Okay, we got him. That was not too bad at all. Uh, that could be actually quite good. Does that increase the size of our... Uh... Yes, it does. Okay, nice. As long as it increases the size of our electricity too, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. That's pretty good. Okay, not, not a big fan of you. Right, take it easy. All we've got to do is make it to the boss, and the boss will instantly die, so... We've got two hits to get there. Which is not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. But if we go the right way straight away... Makes things a little more plausible. Hopefully there's some hearts in here as well. There is not. Lovely. That, the, the sacrifice room never never plays to my strengths, does it? Never wants to do what I want to do. Okay. Looks like we're going the right way at least, which is a start. These fireballs are uh, doing some great stuff for us. Okay, Daddy, I was just about to say, how is that guy not dead? Daddy Long Legs took care of business for us. Okay. Big chompy boys, no thank you. Oh, but yeah, I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of what my list would be for extra characters to add to this. Mr. Boom would be fun. I've not played as Mr. Boom in a while. He's very strong, he's very kind of overpowered, but in a fun way. I've not been using my uh, charm like at all recently, I've realized. Okay. This is definitely the right way. What do you guys do? Okay. You swap your little nail between your heads. I like it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I did get hit there, but we go in and we do that. As long as we don't die to these geezers. We did it! Beautiful stuff. Okay. Okay. Right, now now is where we actually end up dying. <laughs> this is where we end up actually dying. But that was good, we, we managed that. 
You watched me die like the second room or something. <laughs> yes, I did. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't expect that guy to be firing right at the door. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.